Today I'm going to do uh, experiment number five from the elementary with Vernier manual and it is the cool reaction lab and in that lab we have some vinegar and some baking soda and we're going to mix them together and uh, of course that gets kind of kind of fun if you look at the cover of the, uh, the, the book there uh, but what we're going to do is to use the lab quest and the temperature sensor and record the temperature as that reaction occurs and maybe we'll see a change when we do that. And so to start off, I will just plug in my temperature sensor there, put it down into my glass there. And we have this tray here in case I, I get excited and make everything go all over the place with the, too much vinegar and baking soda. So I'm gonna put some in there. The book kind of specifies how much to use, but that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is start the data collection first before we add the, um, the baking soda. And when you plug in the temperature sensor to the LabQuest, it auto IDs the sensor. And right now it defaults to being 180 seconds for our time and two samples per second. But in the lab, it doesn't want us to use that, that long of time. And so we need to change that to 40 seconds. And so it's very easy to do. I just come down and tap on length. And I can go here and change my experiment length. Instead of 180, I want 40 seconds. And there we go. So I say OK. And so now my experimental length is um, 40 seconds. And I'm now ready to collect. Uh, the lab says to start collection for about five seconds uh, before we actually add the, uh, the other reactant there. But before I start, I want to think about this for a second. Maybe I want to draw a prediction. A lot of labs have you do predictions. And the LabQuest unit has the ability um, to do a prediction uh, on board there. So I can tap on my graph view there. And it's under Analyze. So I can come down to Draw a Prediction. And it gives me a screen where I can draw the prediction. So I'm going to say, well, maybe it goes along like this, and I add the baking soda, and then maybe it gets warmer. If I don't like my prediction, I can always press reset and do another one. But uh, I'm fine with that one. So I'll say, I'll say OK. And so it draws my prediction on the graph. And now I'm ready to begin the collection. So let me. Get some baking soda there. Lab calls for a, a level teaspoon. That's close to being level there. And uh, so I start the collection. And it starts collecting. So three seconds, four, five, and. And you see now why I have the tray. Um, so the device is collecting the temperature uh, twice a second and is drawing that graph real time as it's collecting and so we actually see what happens here and it did not go up as my prediction said it would do it actually went down and um, so it was cooling off I guess that's why they named uh, the lab the, the cool reaction and so it's almost finished data collection there and so 40 seconds is up and it, it stopped uh, collection there and uh, what the lab asked the students to do now is to go in and do some analysis. And so uh, concepts like minimum and maximum um, are, are covered here. So some mathematical concepts are, are coming into this. So what I can do is I can do some statistics. And I'm going to go to Analyze. And we go to Statistics. And over on the right side of the screen, we see the minimum temperature was 18.2, the maximum was 21.7, um, and so we can see that there. And we can even move along our graph and actually find the values at different points in time if we want to. Well, in this lab, we've uh, covered some concepts that are kind of interesting. Um, we have done some temperature change with the temperature sensor while doing a chemical reaction. So we had the vinegar and the, the baking soda, and as we added those two things together, we saw a temperature change. And uh, if you're interested in doing this lab, you can download it for free from the Vernier website and, uh, and give it a try.